Now you already know what the average is going to be, don't you? 3.6. Average number of girls, 3.6 per four. You got it, Haley. Now we'll also run the calculation when we're done. We'll run the calculation again to make sure you're still seeing that weighted average. And then we're going to stop using technology to run for us because it gets very tedious after a, after a, after a while. Okay, here we go. Block number four. Four birds. We know the average. Three point six girls out of four birds. Now, again, the only reason we knew this is because we knew flocks one, two, and three, and we're able to add 0.9 of a girl on every single time. So it's a little bit fictitious in that we're able to kind of build it as we go. What if you're starting right from the fourth flock? This is where the distribution comes in handy. This is what I had to do at the, at the bench with that guy that day. All right, so number of girls in the flock and the probability of getting that many girls. All right, that's the fun part. That's the fun part of distributions over there. How many girls can I have? Zero. I might not have any. Faith, help. So same thing here, can you just do four and then the point, well, zero. You're getting ahead of me a little bit. I told you, let's get the X's first and then the probabilities. You're, you're, you're going to be my vitamin coefficient girl. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm going to call on you to get those for sure. Okay. So zero. Yeah. Well, no. And what's kind of cool is we add one each time because we add for one more possibility. All the original possibilities plus one more tagged on the bottom. Good. Hold tight, Faith. We're going to get you to say it. Which one do you guys want to attack first as far as likelihood goes? Four. Zero. 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 Four. The end ones are the easiest ones, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea. I think that's a great idea. So, zero. What's the chance that Max brought home the Happy Meal with four peeps in it and they were all boys? Point zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Yes. Well, the first one being a boy is 10% likely. The next one being a boy is also 10% likely. The next one being a boy is also 10% likely. And the last one being a boy is 10% likely. It's point 0.1 of the fourth power, which is point oh 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 one. So one in 10,000 shot of that happening. That should not happen. You should not walk out of there with four boys. Could you? Yes. Of course. Yes. We just calculated it happens one in 10,000 times. But should you expect yourself to be that one in 10,000? No. No. And if you saw it, you would suspect it, right? You would suspect it. But you never hear of anybody taking back a lottery ticket going, you know what? I shouldn't have won. Just go ahead. <laughs> just, just, just give them a dollar back. Call it, call it even. No, because outliers do happen. People do win lotteries. They win jackpots, right? Good. All right. Those of you that wanted to go with four, let's do four next. Yes? Let's do four next. What's the chance? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Point on the fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for giving me precision there, Alicia. Now, this is actually the number I calculated in the store, although I didn't calculate it with that precision. And when he told me it was 0.9, I did 0.9 times 0.9, which is 0.81. And then I dropped the one off and just called it 0.8. And then I did 0.8 times 0.8, which is 0.64. And then I called that two thirds because it's close. So is that. And that's where my one-third came from. Because if this is roughly two-thirds of the time, that means this is the other one-third. Remember, remember what I said to him? There's a one-third chance I got a rooster in that box. I never specified two roosters or three or one or four. I just said there's a two-thirds chance I got a rooster somewhere in this box. And that's what blew his mind. That's when I started sitting down and doing this with him. And he really, hey, I kind of enjoyed it. It was fun. So next question. We're after, well, for now, for now, I think when he hits about 10, he's going to be like, dude, dad, stay at home or stay in the car. <laughs> Let me go in. I know where everything is. I got this. I got this. Betty, I you inside. Give me my DS. <laughs> Let's get the rest of them. Let's get the rest of them. Pick one. One, two, or three. Because in order for us to get this average, we have to know what the individual pieces are. One. Okay, so one, there are now, hopefully you're seeing, there are two pieces to the calculation. There's the 0 0.1, 0 0.9 part, and then there's the how many do we multiply part, right? So let's do the 0 0.1, 0 0.9 part too. For one girl, what do I have to have? 10%, 10 Three, three, boys, three boys, good. Three boys, each of which carry the 0 0.1, right? So it's going to be 0 0.1 cubed 
and then a 0.9 tagged on it, correct? And that is 0 0.0009, I guess, right? Good. But that's not, we're not done with that, are we? Because the state is going to tell me, you might buy a little coefficient girl. What has to go out here? Why does it have to be four out there? Four birds. four birds. Because there's four places for that girl to be. Look at the picture again. If you don't believe this, I encourage you not to believe it. Look at the picture again. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. So here they are. Now, if they're all boys, boy, 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 done. It's like rolling snake eyes again with four dice. If they're all, exactly, the fourth power. There's still going to be four, there's still a fourth power in all those calculations, right? Four, four a three and a one is four, okay. a one and a three is going to be four, this is going to be two and two. There's always going to be a fourth power, just like there's a, th a third power over here. One, one, one is three, one, one, one is three. There's always going to be, the number of birds is that power. And I say number of birds, not everything is going to be chickens. Sometimes it's going to be, do you have hepatitis or not? <laughs> right? I mean, this is we can add it. Do, you have, did you, do your chickens have salmonella? Is this pool have? No, I'm just saying, Joey, we can average it out. Does this pool have E. coli? I mean, there's all kinds of reasons you want to test using these methods, but it all they comes back to a coin flip. How likely is the heads and the tails? Go, Faith. Okay, so that's like on the zero and the four. Technically, there's one order. Yes, ma'am. You yes, 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 yes. These are technically one. Good. You can. Well, oh, good. Good for you. Good for you. So you hear what Faith just said? She just said, I want to have a number in front of the one, the zero, and the four, or the zero and the three, or before that, the zero and the two. Hey, that's awesome. Put a one there. Technically speaking, there's one way for it to happen. They're all boys or all girls. Good for you. Good for you. It's one of those mathematical things. If it's not there, you can assume one is there if you don't visibly see. Yeah, Good for you. Good for you. So now hopefully you see why the four is there. If one is a girl and there are three boys, which one's the girl? Bertha? Mary. Mary. Or Mary. Or Marge or Nancy. You see all those ors? All those ors mean I gotta add a bunch of probabilities together. So if you think about it, it's really 0.1 times 0.1 times 0.1 times 0.9 plus 0.1 times 0.1 times 0.9 times 0.1 plus 0.1 times 0.9. Enough of the hand waving, right? Why do that? We know all the calculations are going to be the same, so just multiply it by 4 when you're done and call it a day. Is, it, is, it, is that fair? Let's keep with your four faith and do, let's jump down if you would. Did, did we figure that one out? Oh, no, we didn't figure it out yet. It's, uh... 0036? Did I do that right in my head? Yeah. 0036. Good, good, good. I'm cheating a little bit because the numbers are easy enough to, it's 9 times 4 is 36 and just move the decimal point. Thank God for the, thank God for the metric system sometimes. Seriously. Seriously. Let's jump down to 3 because it's similar. If that's okay with you guys? Yep. That's going to be one rooster, three hens. Right? Three hens. And they're uh, good, exactly, Alicia. Once again, there are four possibilities for that, aren't there? There have to be, because now, where's the rooster? It could be, exactly, it could be Bertha or Marge or Nancy or Mary. Exactly. So let's calculate. 28% uh, somewhere? What do you guys get? What do you guys get? 2916. 2916. Perfect. Hey, that happens a lot. 29% of the time is a lot of percent of the time. I mean, right? That's kind of a weird sentence I just said, but I mean, that's not like 2% or like 1%. That's 29%. That's out of every 10 trips, three of them are going to come back with a rooster. And again, this was my concern. Anybody that keeps chickens not in a small, in a small backyard coop, the first four or five months, you're like, what's going to happen? Because you don't know. I know the probabilities. I know the probabilities. I know I'm still the most likely to get all girls. But two thirds, one third is not like a slam dunk, right? I'm not, I, I'm still like, I'm gonna have a rooster, I have to deal with the rooster. Anyway, one last one. Okay, what you guys want me to do with it, Corey? I think Riley's in your, in your, in your, in your, yeah, there's, okay. <laughs> yes. So, how about two of each? Now, you know, the, you know what the point ones and point nines are gonna be. You already know that, right? You're gonna have two point ones and two point nines. What's the multiplier? Two. Why? Tell me. It's not four? 
Why is it, maybe it's four? It's two because you can either have two boys here and two girls here or two girls here. Okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's assign them, let's assign the girls. Do you guys agree once we've assigned the girls, we've automatically assigned the boys? Yeah. If you say, for example, Bertha and Mary are the boys, that means these two have to be the girls. If we're making two of them be, is that, is that fair? So let's count. So Davidson, girls? Yes, one. Girls? Two. Done. Aren't there other possibilities? Couldn't these two? Yeah. Couldn't they be the girls? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe them? Yeah. Nine. Nine? Wait, Kale, what? Can't you go diagonal? Can't they be the girls? Does it matter? Can't, does it matter? No. Does it matter? Think about it this way. Hmm? Here are my chickens, right here. What? <laughs> he's got dice, he's calling chickens. The guy keeps the class drunk today. <laughs> These are my chickens. <laughs> These are my... <laughs> what I'm... <laughs> <laughs> not what attitude you want. No, don't forget that one, sir. What I want to do... What I want to do is, I want to roll... Let's make up, let's make up a roll. I want to roll two ones on two of the dice, and then the other dice can be anything I want to be. The question is, how many ways can that happen? Well, one way is to have the yellow and the green be ones, and the other ones be whatever. That's one way, right? Another way is to make the green and the red be ones, and the other ones be whatever. See, I, that's a different role, isn't it? Another way is to make the green and the white be ones, and everything else whatever. Keep it track, that's three so far. I could, but the tree's going to be prohibitively large, unfortunately. So th just think of it this way. Just think of it, that's why I have the pictures of it. Let's just, let's, let's count them again. Let's just count them again. They're girls, they're girls, they're girls. That's all the ways Bertha can be a girl, right? How about Mary? Mary and Bertha, we already counted. Don't count that one again. Mary and Marge, Mary and Nancy. That's five, right? We already counted these two, we already counted oh, these two, we already counted these two. The last one was this one. Is this the, the same as the problem where you have to take the one off because you... No, no, this is still... Don't confuse it with the one off thing. It, it, it feels like that, Alicia. It feels like that, but we're already... Think of it like this. If you had four people and asked them to shake hands with everybody else, how many handshakes would occur? You guys, right here. You, you four right here. Not gonna leave Randall out of it. You four right here. Shake hands. Make sure you've shaken the hand of everybody else. Let's count. Shake each other's hands. Okay, there's one, two. Okay, good. There's three, four. And then there's five, six. No, wait a minute. David, you shook. He, he missed. No, no, he didn't. He, you guys diagonally crossed it. What they just did was they went, ha, ha, ha. And it's the same thing. Because once, once, Scott has shaken John's hand. John has also shaken Scott's. You don't have to count Bertha, Mary, Mary, Bertha. You've already counted it when you put your hands up like this. Order doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one came first. They're both boys. Faith, go. It's six. It's six. Yes. Sorry, that was kind of an evil sound. Six. Now, the proof, the proof is in the probability. Let's see if it works out. Because we know what that has to be. We know what it has to be. We know the other four, right? So we know, added together, it has to add up to 100%. We know that. <laughs> so we know that if we add everything else up, that's going to have to be, let me see, around 5%, somewhere in that neighborhood. Because this is about 95%, and that's kind of meaningless. 0.0486. Hot damn! 0.0486. So we got point. I love it. Thank you, Alicia. See, I needed that one up there. Yeah, that's all good. That's going to make even more sense than you realize, Faith, in a second, in a second. Sure, what, why six? I, um, oh. Because... You just the put, no, hang on now. Point, now hang on, hang on now. Point to the birds. If I want two of them to be girls and two to be boys, uh -huh. let's count where that can happen. Okay. There's one. One, two, three, four, five, 
five, six. That's it. If you try to pair them off anymore, you're going to repeat something you've already done. It's like that three-sided that three die. Think of it like yeah. that. Like three-sided die, you know, and then multiply it. I like that. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can view it. Mm -hmm. I, I like what you were saying, Alicia, about the without repetition, the minus one, minus one, minus one. It seems like that because you are taking one away each time because the first thing you do is you say, how many can I pair Bertha with? And it's three. Mm -hmm. Then how many can I pair Mary with? And it's two. But the reason is you're adding, not multiplying, but also because you already paired her with Bertha. So it's, it's similar mathematics, but it's, it's a different context, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Fair enough? Sort of where we minus out degree of freedom, or like a mm -hmm. degree of freedom. Very, very close, very, very close. Jeez. Davidson, go. I'm just wondering about if there's some kind of relationship. Hold, like it's one, give me six, one, three one. minutes, if it's okay. Three minutes, maybe four, time me. Because mm -hmm. the first thing I want to do, I want to answer Haley's question again. Suppose we didn't know the average was 3.6 when we started. The only reason we knew it was 3.6 was because we saw the pattern from one, then two, then three, and got to four. So let's run the average in Google again to make sure we